Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a random haul for you guys. I went out today um, to shop in reality to hunt. I don't know uh, which word to use here. Anywho, I picked up a couple of things and I just want to show them to you uh, and let me know in the comments below what you think. So I'm going to start with maybe this bag and i love this bag i think i have so many reusable bags and i always use them as you can see the handles are a little bit tattered already um but it's from a fortune cookie place here in san francisco and you can go here and make your own fortune cookie including your own fortune you can write in your own fortune and then you put it in the cookie and you make the cookie so it's a fun place to go so these bags are small and easy to use so i carry these around a lot um, and they're very durable so i'm going to push this to the side a little bit and so i hit up ross marshall's tj maxx old navy gap walmart hobby lobby joann's and michael's did i duplicate it no that's all I hit up today. And uh, for various reasons, I had some back to school returns that I needed to do and things like that. Um, so, you know, I try to hit up all the stores in the same complex um, to make everything easier. So I went into Joann's and look what I found. I found the weekly notepad from the Indigo collection on clearance. So I got this for myself because I love the Indigo collection. And the next thing I got was this one. And this is the Well Styled Weekly Notepad. This one is not for me. Uh, if you guys can guess what it's for, yeah, it's for her. So I got those two. And, oh, this is my Hobby Lobby haul. So... Hobby Lobby, I got this note. Uh, it's dog grid paper, and it's the Be Brave, Be Kind uh, notebook. And I think um, nowadays we need that little reminder. So let's take a look because I couldn't really look while I was there. I did not pay $8.99. So it's dog grid. I collect the happy notes. Um, I don't collect all of them. I am very selective. I love this cover um, with the ones that I do collect. And I try not to take this off so it doesn't, um, since I store them, I don't want them to get um, scratched. So here's one of the covers. And here's the dot grid pages. Really nice and mauve-y. Here's the second tab. And the pages don't really change. There's still that pink mauve. Oops. And here's the third tab, never give up. So here's a back cover. So pretty. It reminds me of the minimalist cover that I have. So I got that. And I got this guy. I don't know if you guys remember in my sticker organization video, I talked about how I have a whole bunch of Happy Planner books um, and how I have all these brands of stickers. So I got one of these because the one that I do have is getting full because the single sheets that I like, I've been tearing them off the books and putting it there. Um, and it's worked out pretty well. So I'm going to give this one a try since the other one's almost full. So no, I did not pay $4.99. And I'm going to say this, but plan with Michelle made me do this. She did a spread, I think, two weeks ago with this book. And I completely liked the colors. And I think on a video from this week, um, she showed it again, or it was an Instagram post, I don't remember which. And I really like the tones and everything. So I was at Michael's today and I saw it and I was like, oh, I gotta have that, it's so pretty. So as I flip through the book, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it. It's a really cute book. 
and I see myself using the whole book actually because it's just functional boxes, you know? Yeah, I really liked it. So Michelle, you made me do this. So this is from Michael's. I like have receipts everywhere. Uh, this is still Hobby Lobby. I don't have this Disney book and I've been looking for it and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it and I could not find it until I found it today at Hobby Lobby. I sure did not pay that price, uh, but I need this in my Disney book collection and I'm glad I had found it and I have it. So I got now two sticker books that I was not planning on getting. Next thing was this cute little pen holder from Hobby Lobby. It's iridescent pink. And I just liked it. And I got it. I it said on the tag eleven ninety nine, but I did not pay eleven ninety nine. Um and then as part of my Joanne's haul, and again, blame this on Michelle. I got exacto knives. They were on clearance, and yes, I did pay that price. And I got two. One for me and the other one for my cousin. And then the last portion of this is this. Let me take the receipt out. And I got, so I had been seeing posts on Facebook about how you can find Happy Planner items in super sale um, or cheaper or cheaper at least than Michael's, I would say. So I went there to Ross Marshall's and I found a stash of things of Happy Planner. They had the Dark Florals Vertical Planner. They had the Be Wild uh, Planner. Uh, they had Teacher Planners. They were $10.99. I don't need any of that stuff, so I didn't buy any of that, but I did find this notes. And I was like, oh, this is so cute. But then, as I tried to uh, open it, I discovered that this is the pattern on the inside. So your girl got that. And then did you see the price? The price was like $3.49. Totally. So I got it. Um, I've actually been looking for the micro notes in this design and I have not found them. Um, and yes, I collect. Uh, God, what don't I collect? Uh, I collect the mini notes, I collect the micros, and then I collect the classic. I'm very selective, however. I don't collect everything that comes out in a collection, um, but I do have some favorites that, um, and there's some that I plainly like, nope, not for me. So this is the first tab. Oh, leopard print, and it's a dot grid. Here's the second tab. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Oh, so pretty. And last but not least, the last divider. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do, Jane Austen. Yeah, I'm happy with my 345 purchase. So, I actually didn't think this was going to be accurate, only because, you know, sometimes things happen. <laughs> Uh, and it says sometimes all you need is a little splash of color so you would never think by looking at this cover or the inside of it that it would be leopard print sheets right or is it just me so this is my random planner haul from today um, and then the other stuff I'm going to show you is just fun stuff or at least for me so I went to Gap uh, because I had to pick up some uniform things that I ordered for my son's uniform. And I saw this. And it's a cute little fluffy jacket for my grandson. And it's so adorable, you guys. I just could not resist getting it. So I got this for my, oh, this for my little guy. Well, I think everything here is for my little guy. And at Walmart, I got this cute top or onesies, I should say. And my daughter is infatuated with tie dye currently, so I got that and the matching pants for it. 
and this is clothes that typically stay with us like at my house in case he gets dirty or anything like that so he has this tie-dye outfit right which i can't wait to see him in because he's gonna look hilariously funny i think and then i pick this one which is mama and baby dinosaur and it came with this cute pants sorry i'm trying to fold them so and it came with the matching pants. And this I got at Walmart. Um, these items are about $350 uh, each. Like the bottom and the top each is like $350. Very affordable. And, uh, you know, kids grow out of things really, really quickly. So we get these things for him. And, you know, if he grows out of them in a month, you know, it doesn't hurt the pocket so much. Um, so we got those blue pants with this long sleeve shirt, which also has a little accent of tie dye. And yes, he is 100% huggable. So some of these items I got in 24 months. Some of them I think I got 18 months here somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. So when I see him tomorrow, I might give him some of this stuff to take home, but probably not. Um, because we, like I said, we like to keep clothes here for him in case something happens um you know boys so this is my haul for today you guys i hope you like it tell me in the comments if i got good deals on this planner stuff for sure i know hobby lobby was i think 40 percent off right yeah 40 percent off their happy planner stash the only thing i kind of pay retail was for the <clears throat> happy plans book sticker book at michael's yeah, I think that's the only thing I pay retail for. And not even retail. I use the 20% off coupon for Michaels. Joanne's did not give me additional discount because these were already on clearance. If they were, they would have been on sale. I would have gotten an additional 25% off, the girl said. Um, but overall, I'm really happy. Like, I really had been eyeing this. Um, and I think I need it. Um, and I was looking at the other sizes for this. I've been doing some random crafts here and there, so I know this is going to come in handy. And, oh my god, I just could not help getting this. This is still going to be so cute in my desk. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!